how you can make rocket racing tracks now in UEFN. This is so cool. Epic Games, you're awesome. So let's go over it. We're going to click here on competitive racetrack. And we are going to go in and start creating a game. Okay, now that we're here in the editor, you see this is what we start out with. We start out with a little island and a, the beginning track and all the beginning devices we need. So I'm just going to select the vertice and this window pops up. This is our style editor for our roadway, our track. So what I like to do is I like to take it and then slide it over here to the left and get it over in there. Creates a nice spot for it. Okay, now we're just going to extend it by highlighting over which direction you want to go. Click and hold Alt and just drag it over. And there we go we have another part of the racetrack. So we're gonna do this a couple times here. So let's go, we're gonna go in another direction. Let's go up to turn the track, just to extend it a little bit more. And then we're gonna come back around this way. And each time I do it, I let go of Alt and I re-click Alt down so I can get a new vertice. So we're just going to stretch it down this way, and then I'm going to do one more because we're going to go to a turn right here, and then another one going down to create a turn. And then we're going to come this way to go towards finishing the track. So now that we have the track almost complete. You don't want to you don't have to put it all the way to the end. You can leave it right there. What we're going to do is over here on the left, you see where it says track and devices. We're going to click on devices. And then right here it says looping track. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that. And then what it does is it finishes the track for us. See that? See how it it finishes the loop for the track. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go down, check out our, our track. You see it? Now, also what we can do is click one of these corner vertices. And we're going to click the rotation tool. And we're going to give it a 30 degree bank. And let's do that for all of our corners. So we can even go from here and give it a 30 degree bank. And then go to the other corners and we'll just fly over there real quick and give this a 30 degree bank. And last one is the 30 degree bank. Okay, now that we have all this set up, that's how easy it is to start a track in UEFN for rocket racing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to launch this and we're going to go over to our Nintendo Switch and see how this is on the Nintendo Switch. I'll see you there. Okay, now that we're into the Nintendo Switch, you can see we just popped in here and loaded up. We have the ability to go in and we can use our remote and add things if we wanted to. Right now we just want to test out the track and see how it works. So we're going to go to our start menu and start the game. And this is how the game starts. We haven't put any times yet or anything. You can see we have the uh, developer tools on to see our frame rates and all that. Let's give her some gas and go. All right, go. Change the start and finish lines. So let's go back into the editor. I'm going to show you how to do that, and then we're going to come back and we'll see what that does for the game. Okay. As you can see, we're back into the editor now. So we're just going to 
hover over top of our track and we're going to select our finish line and it, you can see over on our right where we have all of our objects we're just gonna hold control click and hold control and click checker start line and so we have all that we're just gonna switch to our moving tool and then we're just gonna move this and if you hold shift while you're moving it will move the camera with you and we're just gonna move this right over to here move it over just a little bit and that's it and now we're going to push those changes back to the switch and we'll go back over there and see what that does and see how we can uh, use that in our game okay so we'll see you back over at the switch we're back over into the switch and now you can see that our start and finish line has been moved so let's go in and start our game and see how this affects the new gameplay that we just updated so we're gonna give her some gas and here we go and I'm playing on the N Nintendo Switch with a pro controller if you press Y while you're going down the street it gives you a little what is that a skid drift and helps you get more of that boost bonus for those of you out there that don't know that little trick yet so there's one lap and this is how easy it is in U at UEFN to build a rocket racing track. Now we can go in and put in other objects, some obstacles, some boosts. This is just the an easy startup to get you going and everything else is up to your your imagination. Let's use some boosts. Use a boost again. I'll begin. Slide around the corner. And as you can see, everything is there for us for the, the dynamics of this game. It's just up to us to put whatever type of track we want. And objects, buildings, just to dress it up a little bit. We can see there's the finish line and that is it. That's how easy it is to make a racing game in Rocket Racing in Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed it. Go make some games. I'll see you on the track. Pop up. Out.